Stick around to the end of the video for an exclusive discount code for any Chestnut Air product. Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I'm really excited to share with you the Chestnut Air digital chess set. Recently in the mail I received three items related to the Chestnut Air system. I got the board with pieces, I got the phone stand, the felt bags for the pieces, and also a carrying bag for the pieces. So today we're going to take a look at all of these items and we're going to open that up live on camera and take a look at this brand new Kickstarter program. So let's start off with the phone stand. So this is an additional feature that you can choose to receive when you purchase the Chestnut Air system. This is the phone stand and flannel bags. So it's got this nice little window here. We have a logo inside. So let's open this guy right up and see what we've got. Very nice. So here we have the nice little felt bags. Not too big, but I do like that they got the little logo and I really like this window here. Very cool. Very nice little drawstrings. That'll be cool to try out in a minute. And here we've got the phone stand. And something that really stands out to me is that this is a very solid build. This is made out of metal, so if you can hear this. This is metal. I assume it's aluminum, but just some kind of very light metal alloy. Um, the joints are pretty stiff. I don't know if I just need to work it in, but uh, I definitely feel like my phone, once I put this, put my phone on the stand, it won't fall over. And we've also got the logo right here. Chestnut. Uh, I can't quite tell if it's engraved or not, but looks really cool. And then here we've got little bits of like sticky rubber. Uh, doesn't have adhesion stickiness, but it's got a good grip to it. So your phone will not fall off of that. And then on the bottom we also have the same rubber material, so um, it shouldn't move around on the table. Let's give it a little push. No, it doesn't really move. Cool. Alrighty, so we've got that. Before we get over to the board, I want to take a look at the carrying case since I have that readily available right here. So the carrying case came in a nice little plastic bag here, but we don't care much about the bag. We want to see what's inside of this plastic bag. All right, so nice canvas material feels very solid. These belt loops right here are actually metal. You would expect them to be plastic, but it's very high quality. Zippers are also metal as well. Let's take a look inside the bag real quick, see what we got. Inside the bag we've got this Velcro strap right here, some padding. A little bit of padding on the outside as well, on both sides. It's very nice. And a carrying strap. That's cool. So, also metal. Wow, very nice. So these should clip right on here. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Nice metal, very sturdy will certainly hold the board very nicely. And then we've got some little pockets in here, possibly for pieces. Maybe pieces in there, a little, another little zipper pocket in here, and this other one over here, it's branded with Chestnut's logo. And it's just a small little bag. Very nice. And then another side pouch over here. Pretty cool. All right, we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Put that aside. But what we have all been waiting for, the board itself. 
So we got it here in the box. I'm gonna clear out a little bit of space. Um, I suppose we'll start with the top. Let's open this and see what we've got. Ooh, very nice. Let's pop this open. Actually, first, let's take a look at the sides. A little bit of info about what's in the box. We've got a chessboard, USB cable, and the black and white pieces. Other sides, we've got the chestnut logo on all sides. On the back, we've got some basic information. Nothing too crazy back there. But let's take a look at what's inside the box. Ooh. Product description, play with PC Mac, Bluetooth connection, play with iOS or Android devices, and play over the board games. And here we've got some more information. If you guys want to pause the video, you can go ahead and read all this right here. On off, new game, reset, buzzer, um, and then explanation of all the lights and all the buttons that are on the board. Very cool. We've got our USB cable right here. Got a USB-C. USB-C, and then the main USB Port. I think it's USB-A, but you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, very standard, very good. You can definitely use that. Got the pieces in here. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll take a look at the pieces in just a second. Ah, uh, there we are. So here is the Chestnut Air board. Let's rip this open. Move the boxes out of the way, we don't need those. And take a look at this set. Okay. So my first impressions here is, <laughs> this is real wood. That is very nice got a real wood board. The surface is extremely smooth. Be very easy to slide some pieces over here. And we've also got these little white dots here, which since this is an e-chess board, I'm going to guess these are LEDs. Let's take a look at that. So here we've got the information panel. Looks like the on button, uh, plus button, maybe the volume speaker, logo, the USB-C input, and the power, Bluetooth, and status LEDs are right here. So this little silver bit, this is uh, metal. Very nice. It's not plastic. Doesn't feel flimsy at all. We've got some more information right there. Little felt pads here so this board won't scratch up my desk. But this is real wood. Looks nice. Surface of the board here is not real wood. It's printed though to look like wood. So you guys can see that. It's got some texturing on there. And also coordinates, which is very useful. But it's not real wood. It feels almost like a vinyl. But it's uh it's seamless, but between the squares there's no uh, little lumps. The LEDs are smoothly put inside the board. Be a little more careful with this one. Got the white pieces here. Let's take a look at some of the some of the pieces we've got up close. Let's grab this pawn. So the white pieces, it's kind of a yellowy color, uh, not pure white, but a little bit tinted yellow. A little bit of felt pad. It feels like maybe a little divot here in the middle for magnet pretty standard. Let's take a look at the king and queen. 
So we've got the king right here. Very good looking design, I like it. Sometimes with chess sets, the king and queen are a little bit hard to tell apart, especially for uh, beginners, uh, because the pieces are both about the same height, and the tops are generally very similar. But this is quite different, so I'm, I'm liking that already. The queen. Very nice little piece. Definitely different from the king. The king's got a little cross on top. Queen's got a little button here and some nice ridges for the crown. Also a brown felt material. A little divot in the center, probably for a magnet. And then the knight. Knights are always good to look at for these chess sets. Sometimes you end up not really liking the looks of them, but I actually do like this, this knight here. The uh, black pieces are going to be just about the same, but I'll show you because they do look a little bit more like wood. It's kind of like a wood uh, print. These are definitely plastic pieces, but they do appear to be somewhat like wood. So anyway, very nice. Again, the uh, last horse here. Very nice looking pieces. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, set this up, and power it on. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like here with the LEDs. So we'll just press the power button once. There we are, red light right there. And we're green. Okay, so we've got the Bluetooth blinking, which according to the instructions over there says it's in pairing mode. Power is on, so let's go ahead and put this board down. Really looking forward to playing on this set here. Nice little pieces, they've got a little bit of weight to them. Does not feel like you're just flinging around hollow pieces of plastic at all. They're definitely a little bit more solid than that. According to the chess uh, website, it does appear that you can play Blitz on this board, as well as longer games. What I'm really interested to see on this board, though, is the speed at which the LEDs turn on when a move has been played, either by the computer or by an opponent that you play online. Because this board will be able to be used on sites like Lee Chess and Chess.com to play against other people live around the world which is really amazing. If you need practice with your over the boards uh, chess skills, this would be the way to go. So while I was talking, I did hear a beep from the board once I put on the last piece. So that should mean we are good to go. So I will go ahead and play a couple games in a future video. One thing I just realized about this chess set is that we're going to need to download an app and I'm actually filming this video right now with my phone, so I'm going to need to go ahead and set that up. I just connected the board, so right now I'm playing against Stockfish, I believe level 14. So we're not going to play a whole game because obviously who wants to see me just get crushed by a computer? Okay, fine. A lot of people would like to see that, but we're not going to go that far. I just wanted to show you guys how the LEDs work with this board. So I'm playing as white, Stockfish is playing with the black pieces over here. So let's go E4. All right, computer is thinking. Pawn C7 to C5. And the app just said pawn C7 to C5. And on the board here, we've got little green LEDs showing which squares this pawn would like to move to. One nice thing I'm noticing about this board is that you don't have to press down at all. It might look like I was doing that, but I was actually not. You just pick it up, place it down. Little LEDs show that the board has received your move. And knight then it's to on to the computer. So knight, knight uh, b8 to c6, otherwise known as just knight c6. Uh, let's go knight c3. See what the computer's gonna do here. On G7 to G6. 
Looks like we're V and Ketowina Bishop over here on G7. So I want to try sliding a piece, see what happens. Um, let's try sliding over to B5. What did it accept? Bishop F8 to G7. Bishop F8 to C7. Ah, uh, okay, so the board did not pick up my move when I slid the pieces, but I do hear that is a feature you can do. I don't know if you can use that with the with the uh, chess computers, but when you're playing over the board, when you've got an opponent sitting across the board from you, the app does say that you should be able to just slide your piece, and it will register that just fine. So, for example, if I played h3, and then I quickly change my mind and say, no, I want to actually move to h4, or if I just slid the piece, at first the app would recognize that I played h3, and so long as my opponent hasn't played a move, if I move it to h4, it will update the board and move to h4. It's not going to do that right now, apparently, so bishop b5 was not registered. It's telling me go back to e2. So that's fine. We've got bishop over here, g7. And let's go d3. So that move I was able to slide just because I was only moving one square. On B7 to so B6. that worked out. b7, b6, all right. Let's go here. Bishop e3. I do really like how the pieces are sliding really nice. Of course, you can't really slide them too well right now. But they're very easy to move. I'm liking that a lot. Let's try castling now. It's going to move the king first, then move the rook. I think it registered that all right. I think on it D7 did. To D6. And it did. Okay, cool. So D6. Currently surviving against the chess computer. Let's play rook B1. On D6 to D5. I'm trying to encourage my opponent to castle right now so we can see what it looks like when the computer castles against me. But here we get a capture. So I'm going to take the piece being captured first. I'm going to replace it. I don't know if you could hear it, but the app made a little clicking sound. Right F6 takes pawn on D5. When I captured a piece. Let's take there. Queen d8 takes knight on d5. LEDs are showing queen takes d5. Let's go c4. Queen d5 to d8. I really like how quickly the LEDs are lighting up when the opponent plays a move. It's like almost instantaneous. Go B3. How long is it going to take? I mean, part of this is just how long the uh, computer needs to think and decide on a move. But the app and the board are really, really well um, interlinked. So it's very responsive. So now we've got a castle by the opponent. So what it's done is it's lit up all four squares. When the king is on, the two in the middle, and then the one the rook is on. So I'm going to try to move the rook first. And the king over, and we'll see if that works. Let's go rookie one. Queen d8 to d6. Queen d6. Okay, so I'm going to call it a day here. If you guys would like to receive a 10% off code, Go ahead and check out the description. I have a link in there, an affiliate link, so that if you would like to purchase any of these items you've seen in the video, you will get 10% off your order automatically using the code CHESSUC, no capitalization and no hyphens or spaces. So if you guys would like to see the Bluetooth video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you would like to see. 
If you'd like to see some more gameplay videos using this board, perhaps some games on Lead Chess or Chess.com, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified immediately when my videos come out. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to use the link in the description of the video to get 10% off your order of any Chestnut Air products, and I will see you guys in my next video.